Yeah. Now you don't have to be a superstar fly fisher to come to Christmas Island. There's loads of flats with plenty of bonefish. You're going to get lots of opportunities. So it pays to practice before you come and practice casting into the wind. Most of the time we'll have you casting downwind as well, which makes it a bit easier. But do the practice before you get here and you're going to be a lot more successful once you go onto these flats in Christmas Island. Ahead, Wonderful. Five more feet along the same place. And I want to be on the plant itself. Go to the left. Yes. yes. Three. Yeah, five more feet long. Drop this down. <laughs> on that's what you want mate even one almost by accident wasn't it we're just walking and just saw that one and uh, he took the fly be almost before we knew what was going on perfect we could do with a little bit of luck mark can't we yeah well it was yeah you were minding your own business and things worked out pretty well so that's that's ideal in a stunning place. This is just incredible as that bonefish is ripping off line like he stole it. Uh, it's just an incredible place and obviously there's a bit of wind you'll hear through the microphones but uh, it's an incredible spot to spend a bit of time fly fishing for bonefish. They're an incredible uh, fish to target in a stunning environment. Just incredible and it just goes on for miles too so she's a pretty cool place to uh, Go fly fishing, mate. And they just never give in, you know, and that's what it's about. Just when you think you've got him uh, about buggered and you get him nice and close, then I'll have another run as well and that's when you've really got to take that hand off the reel and let that expensive reel do what it's uh, designed to do and that's a designated drag and protect your tippets so that we can land this beautiful fish. Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done, Kabuta. Excellent, mate. Thanks. There we go. And as you can see by the mouth there, it's a bottom feeder, so he'll uh, tilt himself on an angle there to get uh, crabs and uh, little crustaceans off the bottom. Just beautiful, beautiful. Can give us the bone. Excellent bony. Good. And he's a good couple of pounds, but they will go, Kabuta, they'll, they'll grow up here to about, you know, four, five, six, eight pounds. They'll get, you know, some, some reasonable size ones as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so you go, well, that's pretty good fun, mate. That's the best fun you can have in the tropics, right? Yeah, it is. It Wonderful. is. Wonderful yeah. experience and uh, well guided, too. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. That's the beauty. You get a good guide because they, uh, they're they quite difficult to see initially well, until you get the hang of it. That's exactly right. They yeah. are hard to see, but once you sort of you get the swing of it, you can sort of pick them up, but you've got to have the expert eyes with you as well to really make it worthwhile. Perfect. Yeah. Good one.